going on guys i'm the collector and welcome back to my brick fair virginia 2022 haul video um the sequel to last year we're back at it again um i just got back last night met a lot of cool people um met some old friends met some people i've known met some people i haven't known so it was a great experience but best of all we have the annual haul um biggest haul of the year usually um i would hope i don't spend more money in the brick fair than i do other times that would be a little nerving. Um, but we have our entire haul here. Um, a lot of cool stuff. Um, if you're asking for the price I spent on this, I don't know. If I feel like putting enough effort in, I will price put a price for everything I paid on screen and tally it up at the end. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. Um, it's probably close to a thousand, which doesn't make sense, but I'll get into why um, later on. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the haul. I'm not going to go too in-depth on everything. I'm just going to show you guys um, the overview of what I got. Show you a few things I think are cool. And uh, yeah, so let's get right into it. Let's go over these figures right here. Ten biggest figures I bought. Uh, I bought a few poly bags, but these are the main ten. Here are culinary customs and like custom de decal figures I bought. This one right here is culinary customs. The other four of these, I believe, are decals. I brought the Boba Fett, but I know the other three are definitely decals. I spent around 150 to 160 on these, which is actually a pretty good deal, about 30 on each. Um, some of these are pretty cool, so a pretty good deal overall. I think I got like 20 on him, so it's probably more like $120, but still a really good deal. Captain Phasma for 20. Brought these two figures right here, which are actually authentic Lego, but they're colored differently. So we have the red prototype Vader here. Um, I bought this for 20 something. Um, I bought these in 40, for 45 in total. Um, so we have the Thor here. Again, 100% authentic Lego. The hammer, the helmet, everything is authentic. I actually got this Vecna as well for $20. And then I bought another Vecna and another 11, um, 11 from Stranger Things for my friend Lex. If you're watching this, Lex, I'm having those shipped out today. Quickly, I did buy a lot of parts. I maybe only spent like 20 bucks on parts for all these, which is insane. Um, four bucks on that, four dollars, really good deal. So if you want any of these, go ahead and go to my Bricklink shop and you can oh, buy them. Like I said, I did buy two poly bags. Lens on this so you can see them. I bought these two right here. I bought Martian Manhunter for 20 and I bought Lex Luthor for 10. They had tons of Lex Luthor for sale for $10. So a pretty good deal for those. Um, I'll probably open both of these because I really like these characters. I bought some Brickheads sealed and some Brickheads opened. And I'll also bring over Jabba. So I bought these two and these two opened. I got this one for 30 and I got this one for 10 and 10. I also bought these two Kenobi figures like a day before Brick Fair for $20. So I guess that sort of counts as Brick Fair haul. Not really, I don't know, but they're still pretty cool. And one of the Brickheads I bought as a camera stand, um, I bought these four Brickheads sealed for oh gosh for this, 100 for these two which is actually an insane deal these go for about 70 to 80 each um mickey and minnie so that's pretty good and i bought him for 20 so i spent probably 210 dollars on these which is not too bad it's a lot of money but i'm trying to get all of them and these are really rare ones rare ones to find so it's a pretty good deal i'm getting some sets but before that i have a few of these so I, bought. I bought three big um sort of creatures first of all i bought jabba for 40 dollars which is that's a really good deal. Um, my Jabba's Palace mock I brought this year. I need a Jabba. Everything in there, most of it, is my friend's. From He has all the Jabba sets. Um, but I need this for my uh, collection. So I got this for 40 bucks, which is not a bad deal. I also got this Indominus Rex for $40. This is the Generation 2 Indominus Rex. Um, I don't know why they made it a gray color, but they did. Indominus Rex for, I think, 40 as well. This one's pretty beat up, but it is the original, which is very expensive if you want to buy it new. So damaged, I wasn't really concerned about it. The mouth doesn't really stay open that well, which is, you know, a bummer, um, but I can fix now let's that. Let's get into some of the sets I bought. This should be fun. I bought this Wonder Woman Comic-Con set. Um, I bought this for 30. I've seen this in the past, like two or three brick fairs because it's just all over the place. And I figured, you know what? If it all goes up in price one day, I'm gonna want it. Um, so it's only like 30, 35 bucks right now on the market. So a pretty cool set. Funny story with this. I bought this exact set sealed at brick fair in 2019. For, I think 50 or 60 dollars. Um, I bought this at the yard sale now for 40 dollars sealed in the box, amazing condition, nothing wrong with it. Um, I'm hoping it's sealed, uh, looks seals look fine, but a really cool set to have. Uh, I'm glad I got this sealed. I never would have expected to have one sealed, but I'm glad this is my collection. If it ever goes in value one day, 
I'll sell it, but I really like it as a set and a click. Uh, just like the Obi-Wan Kenobi briquettes I bought instead of Walmart, on my way there for $21. So if you're, if you're looking for the set, go to Walmart. They're going to have it on clearance. Um, so that's a pretty good deal. set for $10. I'm going to part this out on BrickLink. The part out on the set is insane. Um, and with Aquaman coming out soon, um, I figured a nice Aquaman figure would be a great thing to have in my collection. So I bought this Iron Man 3 set for $40. It says 50 me being the bargainer and hassler and amazing salesman I am, I got this for $40. He put up no fight at all. Um, didn't stand a chance. So 40 bucks for this set is really nice. I don't have any intent on opening this or selling it. Um, there's a hole in the top of the box. Or not a hole, but a dent. So hopefully that doesn't affect the price. But a cool set overall and some pretty expensive One of my figures. best deals. Um, along with another set I'll tell you about in a second. It was this set right here. The Avengers Iron Man Armory. Um, I got this for $20, which is below, I think, $10 or $20 below retail. Right now, this set goes for about $40, so I think it's around the retail value of when it came out. But to get this for half off after retirement is pretty cool. Um, I did get another set. I got the Star Wars, uh, like, Dropship 20th Anniversary. I got that for $20, bucks, but I sold it to help my, me buy that. I'll, I'll explain that later. Two big dogs. Um, so first, we have, oh, that's, we have this Jurassic World... Dominion, no, not Dominion. Um, I don't know the name of the movie. I forgot it. The Interruptor Rampage at Lockwood Estate. He was asking a whopping three hundred dollars for that. I said, nope, I'm not paying that. But I still want the set. So, uh, during the yard sale, I had some figures I didn't didn't sell, and I brought them over. Um, I'm like, yo, I'll trade some figures for a discount on the set. Um, for about, uh, let's see, for about a hundred and thirty dollars worth of figures. 150 um i got a 175 dollar discount on this so i paid 125 cash uh, 115 cash i think um so i got a pretty good deal on this um most people would think this is a bad idea but this is the set i've always wanted since it came out and i, I just like jurassic world and dinosaurs um so you can hate if you want but i think it was totally worth it um this is a set i really like and uh i think it's pretty cool so I'll be building this over the next week. I have a really busy week ahead of me. So Finally, we have this set. A very unexpected buy. Something I've wanted really bad, but I've never actually contemplated buying it. This is the Maersk Lion Triple E. Uh, this is not the exact thing. I think the model I was really looking for was like the original one that came out in like 2008. Not the original, but one of the... There's like four of these things. I don't know. But this is one that I really, really like. Um, I think it's 26 inches long. Has 1,500 pieces, I think, so not too many pieces, but it's still a big bag of pieces. Um, so, yeah, I bought this for, he was asking 240 myself better on a camera. Um, I was not in a good, I was in the sun. Um, he was asking 240 which is a very reasonable price. Uh, used, this thing goes for like 220 240 um, But it was the end of the garage shelf. I was literally walking back to my table, and I said to myself, I'm like, I'm done buying things. I look down to the booth over next to me, and I see this. $240. Um, I didn't pay $240, though. So, I I only have, like, $120 cash. Um, so, I'm like, you know, if I can I do some trades? Can we work out a deal? Sure. So, I gave him the 20th anniversary dropship I bought for $20. I got a $40 value in there. I gave him a Silver Centurion, which I have, like, nine of. Um, and then some other figures. And I only ended up paying $110 cash for this thing right here. Um, I traded figures I had multiples of and sets I didn't want, and I got the set, which is really cool. So, that is my story on the mirror. Said, that is my entire Brick Fair haul. Um, everything I just showed you was stuff I bought. The value of what I spent, I don't know. Um, I'm still debating whether I want to know. Um, sometimes it's better to just not... Don't ask questions you don't want the answers to, is what I like to say. So... If I figure it out, I'll tell you guys, um, but just assume it's probably like eight or nine hundred dollars. Um, but I do this once a year, so, you know, who cares? But that is my entire Brick Fair Virginia 2022 haul. Um, if I met you there, I saw you there, um, and you're watching this video, it would be nice to see you, nice to meet you. Um, I love seeing everybody there. It's nice to see everyone once a year for a few days. So, yeah, that is my haul. Until next year's haul, um, I'll make more videos, but... Until next year's haul, I'll see you guys later.